everybody, welcome to Northern Land Trans Dungeon Defenders Awakened. This is a, a bit of a blast from the past for me. I've said this, uh, well, I mean, the game just came out. However, um, for anybody who's watched this channel for any length of time, you've probably heard me talk about 2011, 2012 era indie games. That's kind of where I, I was really doing, you know, Northern Lion Tries style stuff under a different title. Pretty much every day, maybe like five days a week. I checked out a lot of games. I got a lot of touchstones from back in that era that are relevant to me even now. Uh, Dungeon Defenders is one of those games, and this is a remastering of the original one. For anybody that's not aware, Dungeon Defenders is a online multiplayer tower defense... I wouldn't call it a looter shooter, but it has like RPG elements that are kind of similar to that. I almost look at it a little bit uh, through the lens of retrospect as like a Warhammer Vermintide sort of analog, but in a tower defense format instead of like a Left 4 Dead style uh, approach. There was a time where it really felt like Dungeon Defenders 1 was like one of the most popular indie games on Steam by far. Uh, here we are. Dungeon Defenders 2 came out maybe like six or seven years ago. Here we are with Dungeon Defenders Awakened, and I'm very interested to give it a try here and uh, see what the heck is going on. Create a hero, the Squire. Using his trusty sword, the Squire jumps into the fray and slashes those before him. His arsenal blows away foes using cannons, blockades, and harpoons. Range DPS, Range DPS support. <laughs> okay, it's very hard for me not to take this guy. However, if we're going to be playing maybe like a little bit of single player, um, how could I not? I was thinking maybe I'm a ranged DPS sort of character, but, you know, there's no way I can't. And I, I see, trust me, I see mastery level expert, but we got the same haircut, okay? Let's see what's going on in here. I'm actually going to uh, raise the volume as well, if you don't mind. Well, I mean, you don't really have a choice in the matter, um, but it's a little too quiet. Every game's a little different with, with respect to the volume. Okay. E. Greetings, Brave Defender. It is recommended you get some training from the Spirit of Champions before adventuring to other dungeons and game modes. You know what? That sounds great to me. If you're going to give me free education, I'm going to take it. Etheria has always been a land of living legends. Defending against an ancient evil known as the Old One. Oh, is, is this another Cthulhu? It looks Cthulhu-esque. I think Cthulhu has now surpassed ninjas and nondescript soldiers from a faraway land as like the most common villain in video games. Every game I play for Northern Lion tries is like, uh, there's some Lovecraftian stuff going on. And grow as defenders Yo, of the look, land. he's getting yolked. Through an unsealed evil, a new threat has formulated a way to foil our hero's noble quest and make Etheria theirs once and for all. The Huntress, Apprentice, nope. Monk, yep. and Squire are flung into battles of the past. I see. With their powers it's a time heist. Smaller than before, our heroes must use their wisdom and experience to unravel the mysteries of this rift in time. Ready to take on the evil. Yo, that's Cho Gall. You can't trick me on that. That's well, that's Cho, right? He doesn't have Gall yet. Maybe that happens later. Maybe a cat scratches him on the neck and Gall grows there. These are all thinly veiled references to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I hope you don't mind. Okay. So we gotta protect our crystal across many different lanes. Again, let's say you're maybe like 18, 19 years old, you're watching this. You may not remember once again. That in 2010 to 2013, there were 17 tower defense games that came out a day on Steam. Now there's 17 anime-inspired visual novels. Okay, we can smack. That's no problem. We can right-click to, to shoot a little fireball out of our hands. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Press and hold G to ready yourself. Okay, I am ready. The build phase has begun. So, you know what? Hero on the battlefield must Look, excuse me. You, you need me to be down here, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, S, and D. Turn your hero you can move with W, A, S, and D. The mythical buttons of Etheria. 
to activate your hero's primary and using scroll you can scroll the camera zoom excuse me what the heck's oh the, that's just showing us the path okay and you can toggle the area map with tap button he's absolutely right summoning your hero's unique defenses is essential ain't that the truth of your eternia crystals the sheer ferocity of the enemies you will be facing will require clever strategy and we'll see about that defenses because you are an inexperienced hero in training, you can only yet build a single defense. Okay. Go ahead now. I understand. By press I have you pressed one to enter placement mode. Yourself, and defenses generally need enough free area to be summoned to a location. So the way I understand it, generally speaking, you want to create in a tower defense game, and I, I like them, but I'm not very good at them. Generally speaking, the way that you want to place things in a tower defense game is to create like kill boxes or to get like a maximum um, efficacy. Like with by placing one thing, if you could get it to hit multiple locations, that would be the dream. Now that's not going to happen here um, because we we just there's there's no place that's really close enough for us to hit them with the effect on both sides. So let's just put it down like. Uh, Let's put it down around the staircase. Maybe we can get him to bunch up here. The build phase allows your heroes to litter the battlefield with carefully crafted defense layouts. We've done it. Notice the indicator in front of each creep door. Creep door. The number and types of enemies that will be advancing from that location. Once you're ready, what is this? Uh, I don't know. There's no joke there. <laughs> the door to Mouth's bedroom. Okay. So actually, we can place down two of them, and there we go. Once you have entered the combat phase, the creep doors will open. Indeed, the doors the are opening. Seek out your Eternia crystals. Look, here's one now. A goblin. <laughs> I don't think he's getting anywhere, dude. They cannot be harmed within the dark rift energy around. Of course, they can't be harmed within the dark rift energy. Everybody knows they can't be harmed within the dark rift energy. Don't be a fool. And defeat these creatures. So we do have uh, HP. I don't know what happens if we die. We might respawn or we might lose. I'm not certain. Man, our auras are, are crushing it right now. Aura v orc. All right. Invincible, 250 extra points. Congratulations. You have survived your first wave of enemies. I will reward each victory. Oh. Equipment. Will enhance your hero statistics. Each hero may equip a helmet, torso armor, gloves, boots, and a class specific weapon. All right. Excess equipment is stored in your shared inventory. Now, the you most important thing does this change the way Let's we look? Try another way, brave hero. Go ahead. The weapon did for sure. And then press and hold the G button once more to prepare for battle. The helmet does not. Okay. Um. I mean, if you just want to fight, we can just fight. That doesn't bother me. And more challenging opponents. Be prepared to defend the kingdom with your own strengths and strategy. So far, no, no real complaints. Everything seems to be pretty much going according to plan. Um, we do have a healing aura. We actually, I wouldn't mind building. Okay, that was not very smart. I wouldn't mind building an aura that actually does some damage. Instead of uh, merely one that slows them down. Or, hear me out here, we can get really funky. We could maybe slow them down and do some damage. Look, my team needs me to bleed. I'm gonna bleed. It's as simple as that. Alright, we got problems. Our Eternia Crystal will probably end up taking some hits here. No! No! I feel like the tutorial inadequately prepared me for wave two. Maybe I wasn't reading though, I'm not sure. It has been known to happen. It's alright, we're gonna make it through. You get out of here. You can just hear me clicking like a madman. Two more enemies remain. Okay, let's not do that. Also, I can level up. You will encounter a variety of twisted creatures. We want uh, the course of your battles, extra attack, be please. Of their unique yeah, yeah, yeah. Behaviors. You must employ your best cunning to take advantage of their weaknesses. By defeating your enemies, I'm ready. I'm ready. 
Give, give me... Take the restrictor plate off. I'm good to go. I've already completed the task you have asked of me. Electric aura. Costs us 50. It only costs us 50? We could have been doing this for uh, forever, dude. I don't know. They, we should, probably shouldn't try to sequence break the tutorial. Cannot overlap identical defenses. I mean, that makes sense. Don't get me wrong. Um, but here's what I'm thinking. Now that you've, you've taken the restrictor plate off... Give me the ability to slow down enemies while they're in the lightning aura. And uh, let me tell you, the world's your oyster. Enemies will spend more time in the lightning aura and thus take more damage. This is a very strange way to run it, don't, don't get me wrong. I am not a what you would call a tower defense aficionado. I'm just hoping that this works pretty well, and uh, you know what? Such are the basics of the defense. I really thought you were gonna say just press G to get started. Oh, I forgot about the loot. You summon powerful auras to harm enemies and help allies. The monk is a master with the pole arm, delivering melee attacks with the left. Thank you, thank you. And unleashing devastating ranged energy attacks with the right. This. Rift in time is interfering with my ability to maintain a strong connection to you. <laughs> I have taught you all I can for now. And I have taught you all I can for now. There is so much to explore, brave hero. And in time, I trust you will learn new abilities and hone your crafts well. I see you know your judo well. Remember to accept my gifts at the end of each combat phase. Summon your defenses, ready your weapons, and face the darkness that lies in wait. Alright, well, he, he's got me pumped up. Wise and cunning, for Ethereum's fate is in your hands. He's got me pumped up. Now, let, let's let's do a little combat, shall we? Let's do a little combat. I did just get an achievement, good student. Let's see how our uh, how our lightning auras are doing here. So they're, they're walking. They're taking hits. Oh, they're spending a lot of time. They're spending a lot of time getting destroyed. And I'm here to tell you, you'll love to see it. How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so I, I remain unconcerned. I believe we will make it through the tutorial um, with relative ease. Let's go in there and get our loot before... Uh, well, we get no real reason not to that I can see. I'm not using a morning star as the monk. The tutorial distinctly said a master of the pole arm. How did you live, sir? I don't know how you lived. In fact, living with zero uh, damage taken really surprised me. Are you you're lightning immune or something? I don't I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Uh, make sure you get the gifts at the end of each combat. This one's got a little purple hue to it. A common morning star. No, thank you. A common bow staff. You know what? We'll just just grab the loot for now. That seems pretty cool, though. Your level is too low to equip this traveler. <laughs> Your level is too low, traveler. My equipment is not equipable by a beast. The most formidable magnitude, much less a man of which you are. Please, potion seller. You know what I'm about. It's Potion Cellar. You know how it goes. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Need at least five. Oh, I don't have any defense units, dude. What am I thinking? Trying to build without having any defense units. Like some kind of fool. Alright, you're, you're the real problem for us. Everybody else should be doing just fine. You miss me. We're doing a really good job of slowing you down. There's no doubt about that. Alright. Mission accomplished. How'd you do? How'd you do over there? We're hitting you with the stop. Okay, he's about half dead. That's not that bad considering we didn't have any defense units. Alright. 
You made it! I feel like I'm missing something. The orcs are immune to lightning damage or something? How'd you make it here? How did, how did a goblin make it through this? Look, we got, we got an AoE attack. I'm not sweating it. This is... I don't know what phase this is. It's wave 4 of 5. Okay, wave 4 of 5. We're still gonna make it through the tutorial. We just need some more defensive units. <laughs> I don't want to enter the combat phase. Oh my god. I will... This game... Quite honestly has given me more loot than I think any game I have ever played. At least this quickly. Um, is the is the most loot I have ever seen. I guess we do want to make sure we're picking up all this loot, huh? That was our problem last time. I'm sure, by the way, there's probably a certain subset of people watching this right now. Absolutely. Just, oh, crank. Cr you know what? Casting. Let's go full cast build. Because Dungeon Defenders was such a... And, and, I mean, maybe to some extent still is such a popular game. Probably a lot of people watching this going, NL, what the heck? It's it's making me... I'm bleeding through my eyeballs watching you play this in such a suboptimal way. Um, Alright. I mean... If you want to be like that, you can be like that. I think we only have four defensive units here. So I gotta figure out where I wanna put a slow. Two big enemies coming out of this. I, I, I don't mind slowing you down. Insufficient defensive units. Alright, let's send it. I'm just doing my best, okay? Alright, my, my cast is getting up there. Got a real rapid fire thing going on. You love to see it. Alright, so this is like... This is under control. I do hear that it's gonna be quite dangerous. The enemies are getting close already. Okay, that's step one. Yo, let's go. Great work, boys. Alright, step two, you guys will probably be about half dead. So is the wave, coincidentally. We should be fine here. I will say, I don't think we set up the best kill box we possibly could have, but... This last wave appears to have been relatively merciful for us. Downright merciful. Sorry, right, I can wait it out. I can wait it out. I'm not sweating it. I'm not sweating it. Dude, we got it under control. We're gonna have a, a, a perfect, flawless wave. Look at that. I don't need your map summary. As soon as you take the restrictor plate off me, I know what I'm doing. Oh, baby. Make sure. Don't forget about the loot. Don't forget about the loot. Hold I. And I gotta be honest, this casting build seemed to have worked out pretty well. And then hold G for map summary. I can live with that. Alright, move, move me onwards, please. Next. Act 1, Stage 2. So, in multiplayer, I could totally see how this would be a sick time. In single player, I will admit, you gotta crank up the difficulty a little bit to get me sweating a little bit. But now we have no tutorial, so we're really... It, it's all about us on this one. And the maps are, uh, if I remember from Dungeon Defenders 1 at least, really interestingly designed uh, to make you think about where you would want to have choke points and stuff like that. I will say that as the monk, I think I took a multiplayer focus class... Uh, because we have these like buff and slow auras and the, the traps themselves are not that impressive. So don't hold that against the game You're okay. All right, and we can make uh, we can use this to have a little shortcut. All right. All right Where are we going here? Let's enter the build phase, please Enemies will be coming from all four doors See, this is where, like, if you were a different class, you could put down, like, a, uh, like, an arrow trap or something, like a ballista, to hit him. But we kind of just got a place right along the, right along the road. So, for me, I really just think you try to maximize the damage they take before they get anywhere. So, so I, I, we could probably afford to put, like, 
one slow and or one lightning times two. You can pretty much overlap these. I know it says you can't overlap them, and that's true. But you can pretty much overlap them. You can put them right next to one another. Um, and we, we only have 64 out of 80 defensive units, but that, that seems fine for me. That seems okay. Put down one of these. And then... Insufficient resources. You're absolutely right. I thought I had unlimited money for some reason. I am a fool. All right. So the left side should be relatively okay. Right side could be potentially disastrous. But don't forget, we have level 11 casting. So I find myself relatively unconcerned. Seems like it's going okay over there. You guys were slowed with no other debuff applied at all, which is not really that good. <laughs> um, so we'll put an electric ore down real quick. And things can get hectic, right? You know, like you're going to be rebuilding stuff as you're, uh, as you're playing. Trying to retrofit your run to work to your standards. There's still 12 enemies left? Where? Where? Am I losing it? Where the heck are my 12 enemies, dude? Hello? Oh, there they are. They just took a little while. Don't don't sweat it. They just took a little while. Now, you guys are going to go through some serious stuff over there. I'm not too worried about it. What are you going to do? Shoot me? I, I will say, I don't know what appears over their head. Does it, When it appears over their head... Is that the element type that they've currently taken? Like, they're experiencing a poison debuff? Or is that the element type that does the most damage to them? Or is, like, that what they're most immune to? I actually don't know. Um, Alright, so we're gonna continue our very basic level strategy of popping down a little slow. A little lightning. And then I think, uh... Do another little one right there. The lightning and the slow, slow lightning. And the debuff, you know, imagine, you, got, you you know, imagine dragons. If you if you watched a media event in the last five years, you've heard that song. Or if you've been to the movies or you've seen a Jeep commercial, you've heard an Imagine Dragons song. I promise you. All right, combat phase phase two. So I got a, I got a whole game plan set up here. Looks a little bit like this. We can become our own tower. If you'll excuse me, I would very much like to pick up some loot. Thank you. The difficulty must scale in online multiplayer. It's the only thing I can imagine. But the one aspect that's uh, of, of these games that's hard to show off in a video like this is um, there is like a, a loot grinding aspect that a lot of people are not that into, but some people are freaking in love with. So you're missing out on the... Uh, oh, right, I didn't even open the chest last time. Uh, what, what you will not see in a video like this is, uh, you know, you and your friends grinding for, you know, 20 hours to try to get the last piece of armor that would complete your armor set and allow you to do like 8% more DPS, which is considerable. When you get into those higher levels, you wouldn't understand, NL. I understand. I understand the value of a grinding game. I mean, just last night I was grinding out chess wins in 51 clubhouse games worldwide favorites. So you, you think I don't know? You think I don't respect and appreciate the value of a grind? I played Tony Ox Pro Skater with the best of them, brother. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bent spear. You know what? My core is under attack, if you'll excuse me. Alright, we did take some damage there. I can't believe you made it. I guess you're fast, so you made it through my defenses. Those are some cool looking boots. We are on wave three of five. Please, thank you, thank you. You know what? Plus three poison damage. I'll, I've immediately not equipped it, but that's okay. We got three power available. Let, let's put a couple of points into attack here. Well, no, because why would we do that when we're always casting? Did, they, did he just check his phone on the inventory screen? Am I... 
Am I losing it, or did this man just check his phone? Please equip this. There you go. Um, and equip the miner's helmet. And equip... Oh, we can't equip the ancient greaves. Okay. Fair enough. Um, we got 32 defensive units remaining. We will apply yet another ensnare aura. And lightning aura. And then yet another ensnare aura. And lightning aura. Oh, we, we placed lightning first. My mistake. There's our ensnare aura. Okay, then we're going to come over this way. I think you've probably got a pretty good idea of what's about to happen. It's going to look a little bit like an ensnare aura. Followed by a lightning aura. And then we only got one more pair that we can put down. So we're going to do a little... In, oh, we, we actually have a healing aura now. I didn't even realize on number three, but um, I never get hit. Oh, we don't have enough defensive units. It's okay. So launch it, dude. Just launch it. Okay. Let's take a little more of a proactive approach this time. See enemies there. We see enemies here. Um, the weakest path is our right path here. I think. That being said, I still I, I don't think anything's going to really cause us too many problems. But the weakest path is our right path. And then engage your incredible platforming skills to get you moving around. It does have a great sense of pace for tower defense games. You guys are doing great over there. It's bringing back good, like, Monday night combat memories right now. He did make it through. Just be cool. Shouldn't have allowed him to get there. That's okay. You're 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 dusted. How we doing on this lane? Some people are getting down to that last lightning uh, area, but that's okay. We, it's, it's going just fine. It's going just fine. You're doing the Lord's work. Oh, you almost made it. Not today. Two enemies remain. Core under attack. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Okay, we're just gonna go enter that last combat phase because I mean like come on we're crushing it. We're crushing it Just hit him with the hold down right mouse button. That's a good trick Excuse me. I've been I've been hit by something perhaps a cross bowman What happens if we let's just try some stuff hit F Oh, a little defensive aura for our for our team, I'm assuming. We'll have high defense in this area. And then hit him with the next. We're already at full health, dude. We don't need to use our self-heal because we're already at full health. Why are you trying to waste your, your key like that? Trying to waste your key. There you go. You're doing great. You seem to be doing great. We do have 125 enemies still remaining. And this definitely appears to be kind of a sore spot for us here as well. Like, why am I losing it? Why aren't you taking damage to the lightning? You must be lightning immune. That It must be what that means. It's the only reasonable explanation. Okay, why don't you come... Why don't we come fighting here? You do direct damage. My defense does not help me out here. Maybe that makes our, our turrets have more defense. Or... Our, our teammates' turrets have more defense. Yeah, now we're talking. Big whiffs, big whiffs, okay. 60 enemies yet remain. How we doing here? Just get a good... Survey the battlefield and see how things are going. Use our little self-heal. So it's a very... It's a, it's a tower defense game that's as much about uh, being in the moment... As it is about uh, planning and, and, you know, the strategy and the construction of the kill boxes and stuff like that. For me, it's actually a little bit more my speed, believe it or not. Because, on average, um, I tend to be more of a doer and less of a planner. Um, I believe that I have a planner somewhere inside of me. But for the most part, I get a little bit lazy sometimes. And I'm like, you know, fine, I'll do it myself. So I can respect and appreciate it. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't be shy. Take some more. I will say, I'm, I'm very upset that the enemies appear to have evolved uh, elemental resistance to my towers. 
I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't realize we were playing Plague Inc. here. We have three remaining enemies. You've been imbued with a powerful lightning defense, a potent lightning shield that protects you in all circumstances. Enter the build phase? What are you talking about? We're, we're good to go, aren't we? What is this, wave... wave six? No, this is wave five. I'm just dumb. Okay. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. Well, we might as well get in there. No, nothing really stopping us from getting in there. And look at this. He's putting up... Nothing's getting by me. I've never seen Avatar The Last Airbender, but I have to imagine that there's a scene in it that looks like this. Just imagine that's what's happening right now. My God. Some of the most incredible defense ever, ever put up. Uh, that seems not great. Never mind. It's completely fine. Please stop blowing up my core with incredibly fast-moving units. I have a slow damage over time or a combo. You should have no way out, dude. Just place it! <laughs> no, no, no! No, no, my core, my core! Stop attacking my core! I'm dead. I'm gonna die. For all of my hubris, this is what it got me. All right, well, this is Dungeon Defender. My dude's still swiping down there. This is Dungeon Defender's Awakened. I almost beat a four-player game as merely one man, which is pretty impressive. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I am only, I am only me. That's all I can say. For now, uh... I, did, I do want to point out, by the way, I did receive a copy of this from the uh, publisher, so thank you for that. It is available on Steam if you're interested in picking it up. I'll put a link in the video description below. And a nice little blast from the past that uh, shines more in multiplayer than in single player, I would have to say, is the, the guarantee. You go check the reviews of Dungeon Defenders 1. Dude, people are like... They got like 3,000 hours in this game. You, it's, it's like Diablo Tower Defense. People, they get sucked in. If you like it, you like it, and if you, you don't get it, then, you know... You don't get it. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do check it out on Steam if you're interested. And of course, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya! I got all tab, and then I'll see ya. See ya!